official. Hey, what is up, YouTube? Let me make sure my Wi-Fi is on so that everything goes smoothly. And of course, it is. So, how's it going, YouTube? We are, of course, live again with the Bite Size Podcast. Live from St. Francis campus again thanks to your boy zach paying four thousand dollars in tuition this semester more than that but okay i think we're live again sorry about that hopefully we don't have any more issues thank you for tuning in to episode eight that's eight more episodes of the, of the og podcast. star wars just the, the OG Star Wars, not the uh, newfangled bullshit. <laughs> the overall Star Wars. We're tied. But next two weeks from today, we will beat Star Wars' record of eight episodes. Um, and Pretty sure there's two new movies. Well, we don't count those side ones. Rogue One doesn't count. Nobody <laughs> liked that. I didn't like it anyway. Oh my God! I can actually comment on this uh, on this phone. Oh, what's up, Mickey? Glad to have you here. Glad you can comment. We love having people comment and like and uh, subscribe. Make sure you don't miss that. Helps us out a lot. We actually just broke 300 uh, subscribers on the Zach to the Future YouTube channel. So, thank you everyone for that. Um, so yeah, today we have some interesting topics to talk about, and it should be. A lot of fun as normal. Uh, one quick note before we get started, though. If you do listen to the audio-only version, you will know that last week's episode, or two weeks ago, the last episode, um, the audio is a little bit worse because they actually deleted the files I had on the computer at the studio. Um, so we're just going to be cutting the audio out from the YouTube version that we did. Yeah, so the YouTube video's audio is going to be used for the official podcast audio. This week, hopefully, that's not going to be an issue. We do have our mic set up again. And, Which is uh, fine, really, because last time Pro Tools cut out for so long. So you're uh, actually going to be hearing all of I forgot of about it. that. There was some uh, yeah. bonus content at the end where we actually played the whole song that we played uh, during that podcast. So, unfortunately, that's gone. But um, if you subscribe on Patreon, there is some bonus content for you. And... Um, who knows what other bonus content there will be in the future. So, Like always, I'm James. This is Zach. And we're back with another not attack. Unless this podcast becomes brutal like that police uh, and prison one a couple yeah. weeks ago. That was, that was a little intense for a minute there. But uh, hopefully, I don't know. I guess we'll see what the topics are because we haven't really discussed them like usual. Uh, we find that it leads to better conversation, and I know you said that you've got a good topic. Um, I don't know if you wanted to start. All right, bro. So you've heard of flat earthers, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, this has nothing to do with flat earthers. Okay, can there's I tell a, you a joke first, then? There is another group of people Okay. who call themselves the hollow earth theorists. Have you ever heard of the hollow earth theory? I haven't. The hollow earth theory... It says here, the hollow earth theorists claim that there are three substantial openings in the inner earth. Hmm. Meaning there are, they believe in, that each of the poles, the north pole and the south pole. Are connected and, with and a the, hollow hole? And the Himalayas all have holes that lead underground. Right? Hmm. Okay. And the inhabitants are superhumans. And guardians of the planet. Okay. I is... want to think, I want to know what you think about that. So they're saying that the X-Men are real and living in holes underground. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> really big holes that nobody can see for some reason. Uh, <laughs> man, I, I feel like a your mom joke is really warranted right here. Um, <laughs> but I, I won't go there. Because my mom's probably watching. Yeah. Um, so if you're watching, Miss Cam, thanks for being here. <laughs> um, I didn't make the joke. Remember that. But um, I don't know. That sounds a little crazy. I think the flat earthers are a little bit crazy. Um, and I guess I could see the poles maybe, but it's. I feel like that would be definitive if that was the case. You know, I feel like. 
people have been to the North and South Poles, so they would have seen that. There'd be lots of pictures, and it'd be... And for those of you watching on YouTube, this is what they believe these holes look like, the Miller Beers. Mm. Just, no one can see them for some reason. All of the boats that have ever passed through the oceans have never run into these very large holes. But there are yeah. people who still believe that they are out there. But it's like the Flat Earthers. It's like... Uh, there's so much evidence against it. You can't prove it, it but you can't but you prove can't, it wrong. Yeah, I mean, on a deeper level, it's like religion. You can't prove that there's a God, but you can't prove that there's not one. So you can't say whether or not it's true or not. Yeah, and you can't prove somebody wrong. It's all what you choose to believe in at this point, I feel right. like. Right. There's. Uh, what if there's flat earths, hollow earthers? They believe like, in them both? Yeah, they believe There's a flat, flat earth and there's, there's a hole? There's this hole that leads to the <laughs> other side, you know? And that's where the reptilians live, a.k.a. superhumans. Superhumans, the lizard people. I could see that. I could see that it's all coming together. <laughs> you know, there's a... Uh, the same rule kind of applies when it comes to, uh, like, dream theories. You ever seen, like, a TV show and somebody says, what if it was all a dream? It's kind of the same thing. You can't prove that it wasn't okay. if somebody says... Yeah, that was all a dream. You know, it's like, n no, but I can't <laughs> prove that, I guess. Like, if that's what you want to believe, then go for it. But personally, I think that sounds just a little bit crazy. I would like to believe that there's superhumans. And I mean, there is, like, crazy super people, people who can lift trucks with their bare hands. And there's people who can climb crazy mountain heights without any kind of uh, harness or anything and I mean there's a show that was all about people who have superpowers essentially I think Stan Lee actually did it he went and found people who had superhuman powers but they were just humans real life superheroes so I would like to believe that but I don't know if they live in holes under the ground that's that might be approaching the uh, too hard to believe what do you think? I think let people believe in whatever they want to, I guess. Uh, I personally don't think it's true, obviously. <laughs> like I said, there's been so many... I was hoping we'd have a heated and argument about this, too. All that sorts of shit, and no one's ever actually seen these holes. Right. So therefore, no, I do not believe in this. It's a good theory, though. And yeah. I don't know. I feel and like... I'm not shooting anybody down if they do believe that. Like, good for you. You yeah. believe in what you want to believe in. I'm just that type of person. Like, I don't care what you believe in, honestly, unless it's something like I really, really, really don't believe in. But it it has to be hard to for me to argue with you about something you believe in because as long as you believe in something, I don't know. It's I'm not gonna shoot you down for your beliefs. I'm not that type of person. No matter what you believe. Kind of put you on the spot a little bit then? What's that? If your girlfriend, Mickey, said that she believed in not only a flat earth, but also holes in the earth, would you look at her differently? Would you try and change her mind? Or would you try and accept that and learn about it more? Or I mean, I wouldn't try to change her mind, but then again, I also wouldn't try to switch over just because she she can believe in whatever she wants to believe in and I'll believe whatever I want to believe in and we have a mutual agreement like we're not going to judge each other because of those things you know what I mean That's we're good, in yeah. a relationship for our personalities not because of what we believe in it's yeah. not like we got together like oh you're a flat earther so am I let's yeah date. let's, let's no. be together because we both believe in holes in the middle of the earth right me and my girlfriend are together because I truly enjoy her company and she truly enjoys my company <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, she says, whatever, you'd give me so much shit. And that's probably true, but it w I think it would be in a loving way. I'd give you shit, but it'd be in like a funny way. It wouldn't be like a, wow, your beliefs are stupid type of way. Yeah. It'd yeah. be more like, so you want to go visit these holes in the earth? Or... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay. Um, I'd give you shit, but I wouldn't give you, I wouldn't loving debate me. with you. Yeah. Yeah, it would be, you got to give people you care about some crap. I mean... If you don't give the people you care about some crap, then they... I don't know. Let it's, me ask you another question, man. Do you believe that I joke around too much? Um. Well, I think too much is a very relative term. To me, no. I, I mean... Because I've, my girlfriend Mickey believes that 
No matter what I say, she can never tell if I'm kidding or not. <laughs> there is times I can't tell if you're kidding or not, but general rule of thumb, I take it as you're kidding, and then if you keep going with it, then I can start to tell that you're not kidding. But first impression, I tend to go with you're kidding. <laughs> um, but it is hard to tell. I'll, I'll give her that. But So I do joke too much then. I, I wouldn't say you joke too much. It's just hard to tell sometimes when you're joking and when you're passionate person, about something. And I like to watch people smile. <laughs> I don't know. I like telling jokes. It makes me feel better about myself when people laugh at me, you know? Uh, Laugh with you or at you? Both. Fair enough. I don't care, to be honest. You can laugh at me all you want, as long as you're laughing and having a good time and enjoying yourself. As As long as you're making them happy in some way? Yeah, exactly. As long as I'm putting a smile on your face, why should it matter? But anyways, on to your topic. What do you got for me this week, bro? Okay, well, I want to just quick fire some things for you. Um, And some of these we've talked about, some of these we haven't as much. Um, So uh, just because it's quick fire doesn't mean we can't go in depth a little bit on some of them if you've got stronger beliefs on some than others, okay? Um, And I'll give my opinion after if you want. Um, Okay, so the first one, do you believe in ghosts? I do believe in spirits, yes. I do believe in the paranormal. Do you believe in them in the sense that they're around us and moving and... Constantly, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so do I. Have you ever had any experiences? Well, my mom claims that my grandmother likes to play tricks on us. Like, uh, sometimes doors will be open that we left closed and stuff like that. It's just, me and my mom believe it's my grandma's way of talking to us, of letting us know she's there, you know? So, there's just random stuff that happens every once in a while. Like, we'll hear a noise or something will move by itself or stuff like that. And we just like to believe that it's my grandma keeping an eye on us yeah that makes sense um one time i saw a family of ghosts or at least i thought i saw a family of ghosts and it's kind of a weird story i was at a friend's house it was a really old house it used to be like a grocery store um but they turned it into a house after the place closed down or whatever and um i was sitting in his bedroom the door open and i was the only one upstairs and i saw a little girl and a mom and a dad And they were transparent. I mean, it was almost like you would see in a movie. Um, And they were just walking in a straight line. And they went straight through the room and then out the wall, like, where the roof was. And it was crazy. They were all wearing, like, old-timey clothes. And they just walked through the room and were gone. And I maybe I was hallucinating it or something. I don't know. It was crazy. But that's the only time I've actually felt like I've seen a ghost or had an experience. Um, but no, I, I believe in that too. And I think little things like that, even when like my grandma who passed away, um, you guys would know that from episode three of the bite Size podcast, um, I'll see butterflies and she was really into butterflies. And I don't think that's necessarily directly a ghost or a spirit, but I think it's related somehow, you know, if she really likes butterflies and I didn't see them before, but now I'm seeing them a lot more. Surely that's related somehow. And I know a lot of people have experiences like that. Um, like you said, even the door shutting and stuff, it's... I think it's a sign. Everything happens for a reason, you know? Definitely. Um, okay, so the next question. Do you believe in aliens? Yes. Just yes. Do you? I believe that with how large our universe is, we can't be the only living things here. You know what I'm saying? True, true. You're telling me our vast universe out there only contains one planet that holds life forms? I don't believe it in any way at all. I believe maybe they're not on the planets that we can see or discovered yet. Maybe there's other planets out there that we have not discovered because they don't want us to discover them because they're aliens and their technology is better than ours. Is their technology better than ours, though? Do you believe that these aliens are like little green men? Or do you think that they're like amoebas? Are they just... Who knows until we see one, I guess. Uh, I don't believe the whole green men, big black eyes type, you know, fucking stereotypical aliens. I mean, shit, for all we know, they could be humanoids like us and just humans, but from a different planet, more advanced, less advanced, maybe, who knows? 
I guess until we find out for sure, we'll never know. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, I, I mean, I definitely think that there's life outside of Earth. Um, I mean, they even found a bunch of water on Mars, so that's got to mean something. Um, and shoot, there could be a planet that's just a bunch of kittens, and we don't, you know, it's still life. Have you heard this theory about we lived on Mars before and then we had to move to Earth? I did and hear that. You might have told to me about move that actually. Back to Mars. Yeah. Um, there's a theory out there that um, basically, if anybody's never heard it, there's a theory that we came from Mars. Basically, like uh, we depleted all the resources on Mars, so we spin a spaceship with quote unquote Adam and Eve to Earth, and that's how life began on Earth. Some people actually do believe that, and now we're trying to go back because we're depleting all the resources on Earth. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's a good theory. I, if life started from Mars, that would explain why it's uh, reachable and why it's at a place where the climate's not livable and why there's water there. It, I mean, it makes sense that we could I have believe lived it to there a at point, one point. But uh, I'm pretty sure we've talked about this before. My thing is, it. why wouldn't it be written down somewhere in history? Documented yeah. better? I know. Why did history start when it did? If we already had spaceships to get us from Mars to Earth, why couldn't we have pen and paper to do all those things? And why did it take us this long to advance back to where we were on Mars? You know what I'm saying? For sure. Now, one theory is that. Because if we were smart enough, we would have sent people from Mars to Earth who could set up everything that we already had on Mars. You know what I'm saying? They want to just send two idiots over, like, hey, go re inhabit, and hopefully someday in the future, yeah. you'll be where we are now. Unless it was a last resort kind of thing. And if we're trying to clear everybody off of Mars because everybody's dying, why only send two people? Right. One theory is that the whole Bible is actually like documentation from Mars. And it's all, like, religion is true, but it's all God. It's a guy who was on Mars who ruled stuff. And it's kind of a trippy theory when you think about it. But the whole thing, it's got hints that make sense. But I mean, in the Bible, they use actual places from Earth, though. They, yeah. They yeah, say, I mean, like, Egypt or the Nile or, you know. Shit like that. But maybe those things on Earth were named after similar places on Mars at one point or something? I'm not sure. I guess we'll never know until... Until we get to Mars, maybe? Yeah. Maybe we'll find books and books of documentation of when we lived there before. That would be crazy. That would be... Yeah, that's another thing. There's no remnants of anything on Mars. That, that we, we found, found yet. But we haven't really been there yet. So, I don't know. I mean, the rover's been there for years now, though. Yeah, but I can only search so much, and if everything was destroyed to the point of becoming Mars, I don't know, maybe everything just got destroyed. It's probably something that we'll never know, and maybe it's too far-fetched to actually believe, but we could be aliens, you know? Maybe we are the aliens. Yeah, we're Martians, just came to Earth. Exactly. A while ago. Who knows? Let us know what you guys think about yeah, all these subjects as well. We're definitely curious. You can leave a comment and let us know. Um, okay, the next question. Do you believe in miracles? And I know we've talked about this one a little bit. I personally do because I believe I was in a miracle. Uh, seeing that I'm still alive after being hit by a fucking freaking truck. Yeah. Um, I personally have believe in miracles just because I believe one's happened to me, yes. That's that's a that's good your point. Answer. Yeah, I mean that's Do I believe miracles happen every day and it just happens instantly? No. Do I believe in stereotypic miracles like one day you're paralyzed and Jesus touches you and you can walk again? Probably not that type of shit. Yeah. Um it's definitely a miracle that I'm alive though after being hit by a snow plow. Um, I'd say, personally, just because, you know, I'm the one who got hit by the snowplow. Uh, yeah, miracles, I definitely believe in miracles. I don't believe in stereotypical miracles, like I said, but miracles nonetheless. For sure, yeah. I think, uh, it, that's hard to argue with. <laughs> now, I have a question. Are all these questions leading up to something specific, or are these just random questions? 
They're mostly just random. Um, I mean, if you want to go really, really deep, I could say, do you believe in God? Um, I that's... believe in a God. I don't know which one it is. I choose. I've chosen to find out after I die which God it is. And hopefully if said God is real, uh, he'll understand and hopefully he has enough understanding to see where I'm coming from and let me into heaven. But if not, it's my own fault. You know what I'm saying? It's what I choose to do. I'm not saying everybody should. Like, if you believe in something and it helped you out, go ahead. Like, more power to you. Just me personally. I believe in a God. Just don't know which one yet. And I choose to, to know that when it's too late. <laughs> well, I mean, not necessarily when it's too late, but when you can... Okay. Sorry to drop it again. We're back. Uh, man, technology, I tell you. I wonder how many times in all the podcasts that we've shown on YouTube, how many times we're just like, because you're staring at the phone. I know. Okay. Working or yeah. Not. It's not you, Mickey. It's us. Um, oh, what'd she uh, say? Uh, she asked if we're freezing or if it's just her internet. It's yes, us. that's YouTube. I'm sorry. It's the internet here. <laughs> it's my phone, YouTube. I don't really know. But, we're in a basement, technically. Yeah. So I'm, the signals aren't the best. And I feel like... As we sit in the recording studio at a Catholic school, talking about if we believe in God is a little bit sacrilegious. We might get struck by lightning as we leave here, um, saying anything other than. Well, if we do, then I will believe in God. Then, but you know what I'm saying? Like that will be yeah, enough I, of a sign. That's what you're saying. Smite me, oh mighty smiter. <laughs> Love that movie. Yeah. Um, if need be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't smite me for no reason. Especially you, because you've already been smited once. <laughs> I tried. It was a miracle that you survived. Um, of course. But no, I, I agree with you, because uh, if you believe in Buddhism, and then you die, and it's, you know... Fun fact, before Buddha died, he told people not to praise him. You really? Know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. Huh. Before Buddha died, he said, I am not a god, I am not a prophet, do not praise me. Do not wow. worship me. In any kind of way. And now we have a whole religion based off of it. It's crazy. I feel like you shouldn't worship anyone. Almost. I, you got to live your best life. Bo Burnham has a great song um, called From God's Perspective. And that's exactly what I think. You, If you want love, the love's got to come from you, is what he says. It shouldn't come from you trying to do things we're all hoping that we die and go to paradise but really we can make earth paradise you know what i'm saying as long as bo burnham's basically saying why do you need to believe in a higher power when we could believe in each other and everything would be okay right can we make earth heaven instead of waiting to die to live in heaven live your best life now like a lot of people see bo burnham as a comedian uh, singer, but really, if you listen to his songs, they've all got great points. Um, he speaks on a lot of real, real stuff. Hashtag deep. Yeah, there's that hashtag deep. Even uh, <laughs> repeat stuff, which he makes fun of the music artists. But it's for so always true. repeating choruses or always repeating verses or just making their lines completely nonsensical. Yeah, just to sell. Yeah, exactly. Like the brownish, greenish, bluish eyes part of his whole song. <laughs> right, yeah. It's... I like that you have two arms or... <laughs> Things that apply to everybody just so yeah. that they can sell music. Make people like think they're skin. talking to like, Yeah, everybody yeah. has skin, therefore you're talking to everybody, so therefore everybody thinks it's about them. And then you just repeat it over and over again, and that's how... And it's so true about the, the state of music today, is. Yeah, how exactly. things are, but... And you got dudes who are doing their own thing, talking about real shit, and nobody's going to sign them because they're not... Commercial enough. Yeah, they're not, I don't know, not Hollywood enough. They're not repeating they're themselves not a sellout. every line. Yeah, exactly. And not that there's anything wrong with being commercially successful, but I think well, if the you can music's got to speak to you, it's got to mean label. something. Yeah. If you could do it on your own without a huge label or start your own label like Chance the Rapper did... Uh, he's doing big things, and he's by himself. He didn't sign to anybody. He's, he just does his own thing, just kind of like Russ, whom I don't like all that much, but he's still an independent rapper who's doing his own thing, and 
I don't know, Bo Burnham speaks a lot about how messed up the music industry is nowadays. Um, I'm a huge fan of Bo Burnham, and I know Zach is a small fan, if not a big oh, fan, I'm too. I'm a big fan, too. Bo Burnham's um, great. But yeah, it, I'm sure you all know who he is, but check him out if you don't. Yeah. Especially from God's perspective, because that plays a lot into what we were just talking about. And Bo Burnham is one of the OG YouTubers, bro. Oh, so yeah. you got to respect him just on that front. Yeah. From day one, Bo Burnham has been on YouTube, which is pretty awesome. Well, not from day one, I'd say. But as soon as YouTube started popping off, Bo Burnham's like, I'm putting my He was early on days, there. for sure. Yeah, for sure. And for he sure. did it for fun, not to sell out. So that's awesome, too. Yeah, I mean, make YouTube videos because you love doing it. Make music because you love doing it. Do whatever you do because you love doing it. And then Even, success yeah. will come because you're doing it because you love it. Even at the end of Bo Burnham's live show, what he does, um, We Think We Know You, which is speaks a lot on his own behalf, like what people think of him or how they're looking at him or how people think he's cooler now because he's on TV and he's got so many views and he's on Netflix and they're inviting him to all sorts of stuff whereas in high school they didn't really talk at all or anything like that but now they're all cool because he's famous and I don't know that's one of the deepest songs but one of the coolest songs if you really pay attention to it you're like man he goes through a lot of shit when you think about it oh yeah and it's so easy to be bogged down by the offensiveness that you sometimes don't get the full meaning of some of his stuff. And that's that's unfortunate because he's got a lot of uh, good meanings behind his songs. And while we're offer. speaking on artists, go ahead and check out Killjoy Official. K-Y-L-L-J-O-Y Official. K-Y-L-L-J-O-Y. Yeah, one word, Killjoy. If you're into dubstep and house music, he's great. I showed him to a couple people at work the other day, and they loved him. And he does the theme song. For this podcast, so the audio version of the podcast, he does. The yeah, intro. we might have to start the uh, uh, live version so other people can hear it live. Um, but I do want to ask you one more question. Uh, I think we got time for one more, and it's uh, it's a bit of a doozy. So are you ready? Sure. Um, it's a little controversial, so I don't know how deep into this you want to go. But do you believe in white privilege? White privilege, yes. Yes, I do. I do believe that white privilege is a thing. Absolutely. Um, I also believe that there's black privilege and Mexican privilege. It just depends on where you're at, I guess. Um, I don't know. Yes, I do believe in white privilege. I do believe that maybe white people, you know, um, get away with a lot more things than black people would. I believe in white privilege doesn't mean that I like white privilege. Like, I hate the fact... You don't that, agree with it, but you believe yeah. that it's a thing. I believe that it's a thing. I don't like it at all. I believe that everybody should be equal. That's just me. You know, I'm millennial. But, but should they be equal? I mean, I'm not saying that people should be discriminated against, but I think... But do you think that white people should have a better advantage than others? In that scenario, no. No. Nobody should have a leg up. White privilege is bullshit, I think. Yeah. I... I... It's definitely not good. It's not beneficial to society as a whole. But I think that sometimes it can have... Um, I mean, not even just white privilege. Black privilege. Mexican privilege. Like you said, everybody's got stereotypes that form who they are and you got to admit people can be affected as they're getting raised by these right. stereotypes like no offense but as a white dude i cannot go into the hood and be safe exactly therefore that hood black privilege which makes sense hopefully you guys get where we're coming from we're not trying to be it racist it's not a at. race issue more it's Different people have different problems. Different people have different things that are easier for them. I mean, if you see a white basketball player, they're a lot more often judged. Yeah, back to music, white rappers. Exactly. People get judged hardcore for being a white rapper. Or, or white R&B singers. 
Yeah. Or, I don't know. I mean, if a white dude started doing mariachi music, you'd look at him a little funny. And that's, I mean... And it's wrong. It's completely wrong. Yeah, anyone should be able to do whatever they want. Yeah, exactly. If I enjoy playing mariachi music, who are you to tell me that I can't just because I'm white? Or judge me on it because I'm white. That's stupid. Yeah. And I think a lot of That's just me. There's a lot of people out there who are like, yeah, fuck you. You can't play mariachi music, which is fucked up. And I don't think the world should be like that. Which comes back to what Bo Burnham was saying. Why can't we all just get along and make it paradise on earth instead of having all these privileges or, you know, separating classes or, I don't know. It goes into a very big conversation that we could have had an entire podcast about, honestly, I think. Oh, yeah. I uh, um, I, I think that um, privilege in general is messed up. No one should have any kind of leg up. There was a meme kind of thing I saw on Facebook a while back, and it was uh, a little black boy and a little white boy. And uh, it said that the white boy got a haircut so that his teacher would get him mixed up with the African-American kid. Because they had the same haircut. And he didn't realize that their skin color made the teacher tell him apart. He just saw his friend. He saw another person. Right. Children and, don't have that until you teach them that. Right. But the, these stereotypes are ingrained in the world. So it's hard to say that white privilege or black whatever isn't a thing. Because it definitely is. For it, sure. It's bad, but it exists. The next step is to figure out how to combat that. So, um, I do think we are getting disconnected again, um, but we are almost done. Um, I've got one more thing to say. I don't know if you have anything to say once we get back on. Um, but for those of you watching, we're probably frozen right now. Audio only version. You should be able to get all the audio. So yeah, hopefully, because we are using something new to record the audio today. So yeah, so hopefully we'll see it how it all goes. We can save it and get it out to those platforms for you guys who would like to listen to us and not see our ugly mugs. All right, Mickey says we're not frozen, so that's good. All right. Well, um, let's say what we need to before we. Okay, are yeah. I um the last thing I wanted to do um I like to start these things with a quote, but we're gonna end it with one today. Um, unless you have anything else to add? No. All right, well, if you have anything to add in reaction to this quote... No, I do not. Um, today in my yoga class, my teacher gave us a quote, and it said, We all see ourselves as piles of problems instead of focusing on the solution, which is joy. Essentially, don't think about the problems you've got. Just focus on being happy. Because happiness can solve your problems. If you've got issues with people or with things... Stop looking at the bad things in life and start enjoying the good things. Exactly. We can all come together and be... One big pile of problems, but as long as we're having fun, who cares? All right. As long as we're a big pile of problems as the human race... Together, as one... Then we can fix our problems. Help each other fix each other's problems. It would be great. And music is great for that. So today's episode is all about peace and love, guys. Yeah, we're hippies now. Also, while music is great for peace and love, so is listening to podcasts. So you can check us out on Apple Podcasts, <laughs> Google Podcasts, Spotify, uh, Spotify uh, Stitcher, uh, pretty much anywhere podcasts can be found. Bite Size Podcast will be there waiting for you. Um, and Patreon's got bonus content. Uh, make sure you hit subscribe on YouTube so you don't miss us when we go live every other Thursday. So um, we're going to head out, and we will see you in two weeks from today. Hope to see you there. Two weeks. Peace out, YouTube. Bye, everybody.